Troubleshooting Galaxy S7 Edge Black Screen of Death This one here is the real black screen of death, display won't flicker, no lights, no nothing. This problem can be as simple as a system crash or as complicated as faulty hardware. Keen observation and thorough troubleshooting is necessary to know the cause or the culprit and to eventually fix the problem. That said, please try to follow these steps. Step 1, Forced Reboot As I said, it can be just a simple firmware crash issue and just like the problem I cited above, I want you to do the forced reboot procedure to see if the phone reboots normally. Press and hold the volume down and power keys together for 10 seconds. If it really is a system crash problem and if the phone still has enough battery to power up its components and run the firmware, then it will turn on, otherwise, do the next step. Step 2. Charge the phone. It's too early to jump into a conclusion that it's a firmware issue. It might be just a drained battery that rendered your phone unresponsive. Therefore, it's time you tried charging it. Aside from the obvious reason that we suspect the battery got drained, this step will also tell you if the device responds when it detects current is flowing through its circuits. If the phone doesn't charge, I suggest you read our posts that specifically address this problem and its kinds. Here's one tip. When you plug the phone and it won't charge, leave it plugged in for 10 minutes and then do the forced reboot procedure while it's plugged in. Step 3. Attempt to turn the phone on. If your handset charges but won't turn on, then do everything to bring it back to life. You have a couple of things to try to confirm if your phone can still power up its hardware or not. Try booting it in safe mode I provided the step-by-step -step instructions above on how to do this. The reason why I want you to do this is because sometimes third-party apps and services crash, which may also cause the firmware to crash or become unresponsive. Boot it up in recovery mode Booting the phone in recovery mode will power up all its hardware components without running the user interface. So. If the hardware is fine and if there's enough battery, then the phone should be able to boot up. Here's how you boot your device in recovery mode. 1. Turn off your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. 2. Press and then hold the home and volume up keys, then press and hold the power key. Note, it doesn't matter how long you press and hold the home and volume up keys. It won't affect the phone but by the time you press and hold the power key, that's when the phone starts to respond. 3. When the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge shows on the screen, release the power key but continue holding the home and volume up keys. 4. When the Android logo shows, you may release both keys and leave the phone be for about 30 to 60 seconds. Note. The installing system update message may show on the screen for several seconds before displaying the Android system recovery menu. This is just the first phase of the entire process. Step 4. Send the phone in for repair. After doing all these steps and the phone remains unresponsive and its display black, it's time you sent it or brought it to a local shop to be repaired. We technicians can do tests to determine what really is the problem with your device. As far as doing your part is concerned, you've done enough but sadly, the device is suffering from a serious issue. Let us know if this helped in the comments below. If it didn't we will get back to you as soon as possible.